Good morning, y'all. What is happening? Today, as you can see, wearing the old white hoodie, boy. But yesterday, around 5.30 in the evening, Bobby found a big old feed. And these birds were dumping in it. A ton of snow geese and a ton of lessers. The great thing about today, 22 mile an hour winds right now. The bad thing about today, it's like 60 degrees out. It's extremely warm. We have a hard south wind that's pushing up a bunch of warm air and moisture. We haven't had hardly any winds, so uh, when I watched them yesterday, they were just doing it dirty, getting down fast in the field. I'm hoping that they're going to do the same thing today. We're going to sit out a full spread of white socks, full bodies, and some dark Canada geese. If you guys haven't, check out that Bottomlands hat. And if you do hunt white, go grab you a white duck's hoodie so you can get it bloody like mine. I will link both of these items in the description below. But it should be a sleigh session out here this morning. Let's hope that they do it. Let's hope it's not too warm. And let's hope this wind just makes them get to the ground. I know this field has not been hunted yet. It's a planted winter wheat field with a lot of bare spots in it. A lot of dirt showing. But we're going to get headed out, guys. I'm hoping it works. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it works. Wish us luck. Let's roll. doing it as you can tell look at this mr. genius here what'd you do man uh, not using my head. they're out here sitting up as you can tell it's windy you can probably hear it we're gonna sit out a dark and white spread but today with all this wind I'm gonna tighten that spread up I'm not gonna make it as widespread a lot of wind birds tend to feed real tight you know tight 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 feeding when it's real windy that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tighten the spread up, and make it happen. And they are gonna get down. I can feel it in my bones. Oh, here's the start of the morning, boys. Ready? First single suicidal. Smoke him. Nice, boys. Woo, 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 woo. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. Yeah. Woo! They're gonna do it dirty. All right, we got a big wad coming our way. We got a lot of wind. If you guys can hear wind, and I'm gonna try to keep the microphone out of the wind here, but this is gonna get nasty. Oh boy, here they are. First thing, it did not take long. Huh? Is there another group doing it? It's just this one. Shoot him. Oh boy, we got a big old group. We got snows, we got lessers coming. Well, probably put a lot into them there. Yeah, the, the group didn't want to work like they should have. All right. These are bigger geese here. Look, they're just going to do it. Get ready, guys. I ain't calling. Here we go. Get ready. Kill him! Woo! There we go! Yeah! Yeah, we dropped him. Nice! Hell yeah. Dude, they did they just wanted it, dude. That's what Woo! We right there. That was sweet. Good lord. That made it worth it right there. Yeah. Just that group. Yes. Oh, haven't even got to show you guys the spread yet. Good lord. It, it started hot and heavy right off the bat. And uh yeah, they worked a little bit. It's early, early. We're gonna have a bunch more birds looking at us, I can guarantee it. This is the spread. We kept the socks really tight. As you guys know, when it's real windy, 
birds birds feed really tight on the field you'll see them but as you can see we got a strong strong 20 mile an hour south wind going that way we got darks coming around going in here's our kill hole with a fam with a few family groups and then behind us where we're sitting in white it strings off here and the socks are packed really tight oh man they're doing it dirty now fellas holy junk look at this we're clear to shoot we're clear to shoot these two yeah we'll smoke these two if someone can reach out and get those four out there once we shoot these try it but go yep a little too late here like a second late two seconds late but i try to get that Some behind you. he did that boy is dead look at this we're not even gonna call him come on now Take him. Three, four. Yeah, nice. We that was the shot. We had to take it. Those are the shots you have to call. Right there, you have to. I was hoping you were going to because I. I, don't that, think they came I, back. I waited for that far north group to start fluttering. And and oh, just to remind you guys, I'm running the GoPro a bunch because I can keep the uh, mic out of the wind. We got a bunch of wind, as you guys can tell. I can keep the mic down here by my chest and out of the wind. So I'm going to be sporting the old GoPro so I'm not blowing you guys out with wind. But as you've seen, them birds, they uh, they got, they stopped. And when you see that first one start fluttering back and leaving, you got to call the shot because as we've seen, not only today, but a lot of hunts now, a lot of hunts, the last three they'll give you one look one look only it's warm they don't have to eat right now so that first look when they're low enough gotta call it oh boy here we go get ready boys let's smoke them Shoot him. Woo! God, I thought that one right there was going to go down. You guys shoot at the right birds? Yeah, yeah I know. I, I shot on, it. What are you doing over there? Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Well, that wasn't bad. They worked good. Dude, they responded to the call perfect. We got two big they, groups behind us. Dude, they turned hard. Oh, yeah. They stopped. As soon as we hit that call on the corner back here, done. Wow, the wind is still blowing, still. Oh my goodness. Well, as you can tell, we are back home. I didn't do the outro at the field due to the wind. I was wind blown, the cameras were wind blown. I knew that I was gonna have a bunch of audio that was just gonna be freaking trash, and yes, it was. It was literally 40, 42 mile an hour gusts and a constant 20 to 25 mile an hour wind. But as you guys know, I had to rock the head mount just to keep the microphone out of the wind. I usually can keep my back to the wind so it keeps that microphone out of the wind so it's not. <laughs> we ended up shooting 20. It was a great hunt. It was pure trafficking, pure trafficking. We didn't get a big group, a big wad over us like you guys have seen the other ones where we literally have thousands of birds swarming. Thank God I'm so sick of having those birds do that because when they do that, it's hard to shoot. When you shoot, they're all gone. You scare them all off. This was pure trafficking. It's drawing groups in off a traffic line. So a flight line that they're going back to a roost or a flight line that they're going to a feed, you just intercept that flight line and that white just stands out and they want to do it. Now you can traffic with just dark geese only and laying in lay down blinds or a tree row. It doesn't matter. The reason why I did white was because of the wind. A lot of you seen the last you know, what was it, two videos ago, where there was no wind and the birds just didn't do it. 
The only downfall to this hunt that you guys just watched was the sun was gone. We had a high cloud cover and in white you just want the sun because it makes that white pop. Basically think of it as this. It's the same thing as this camo hoodie compared to this white beanie in this fluorescent light. It's the same theory. The white just pops and it gets their attention so for trafficking they can see it farther away because you're not going to be set up on the feed so you get their attention and they come to you. You usually get small groups just like this hunt. It was a nice steady small group hunt. But real quick we messed up on the count of the large next gen hoodies. A lot of you got a hold of me and you know hit us up on our Ducks Waterfowl Instagram. So now we have about 20 to 30 larges left of the next gen Marsh hoodies. So I will link these in the description below. 20 to 30 of them and we are going to be out of larges. We're already out of most of the snows. I think we're actually out of all the all the white snow ones. I hope you guys got them while we had them. But a lot of you were like, no, I didn't get I waited too long to get one. Now's your chance. I think we have literally 20 to 30 of these things left. Go get them because they're going to be gone literally today. I just shot a video yesterday that was one of the funnest, one of the best groups and big group videos that I will put up yet this year. Be ready for this video because it is awesome. It, it was a awesome hunt. We got out of here, we got away from our own area, and we went to another area where we have always wanted to go hunt. So be looking out for that hunt. It is going to be awesome. It will probably drop Sunday, so stay tuned for that hunt. But in between today and Sunday, we're going to have a foul Friday. We're going to have another hunt, so there's going to be another pretty darn good hunt coming your guys' way, probably Wednesday or Thursday, so be expecting that. I hope you guys like these hunts. If you do like these hunts, drop me a thumbs up and 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 if you guys have any ideas for goose hunting videos for duck hunting videos they can be funny they can be dumb they can be serious they can be a different decoy spread a different species coyotes i don't care whatever you guys want to see me do drop a comment down below and let me know i enjoy you guys commenting i want to hear your ideas the community is thick and we are doing it out here and i appreciate each and every one of you guys truly Subscribe if you haven't because I'm having a blast. I hope you guys are too watching these videos and I hope you're enjoying them. Thank you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I put my